I've been boxing basically my whole life, but then it was about overcoming a mental health issue, which is called OCD, and now I am the heavyweight champion of the world of obsessive compulsive disorder, and how we're going to raise money for it and donate our money to children with OCD. We're going to knock it out in the ring, mental illness. So how long have you been boxing? I've been boxing for about 30 years, but uh, about five years ago I met a promoter from Philadelphia and uh, he's had me fight in Philadelphia. I also fought Jose Canseco. Uh, we fought in Springfield, Massachusetts. And now I got some new PR guys, Joe Castoli, a wonderful friend of mine from Pittsfield, Massachusetts. His nickname is Old School. And we go around, we do fundraisers and things like this too. So how long have you been champion? I've been, I was champion when I knocked out Rodney King from California. I became the heavyweight champ of celebrity boxing. So at what age did you decide to stop boxing? Well, my dad was an army boxer in, in the service, and he didn't let any of us kids box. So I went out about 17 years old, and I decided to try to build rings on my own. And, and, and fight then. So I'd say about 17 years old I started. And to think at 44 years old, I won the heavyweight championship of celebrity boxing. It was quite an honor to know that I can do this at 47 years old. Well, thank you very much. I'm eight and one. All eight wins come by way of knockout. And I get rid of my opponents usually in the first round. It's about knockout power. So who's your next we're big opponent Well, we're, we're talking about uh, possibly bringing the venue to Wakona Park. And if anybody knows about Wakona Park, it's in Pittsfield, Mass., uh, which is what? Just been named the uh, baseball, uh, actually sister of the world, uh, where baseball originated, I believe, is what they're trying to give Pittsfield the history of that title. Um, but Sugar Ray Robinson, Archie Moore, some great, great champions have fought there. So there hasn't been a fight there since probably the 1950s, 1960s with a local prominent lawyer by the name of Eddie Spence. But I'd like to be the next champ that steps in the ring at Wakona Park. Sounds like it's a good deal. And we're working on it. If, if all the facts and figures come together, we're going to be putting on wrestling and boxing, and uh, it should be a great venue. Have you ever fought Tyson? I haven't. I actually... <laughs> People say I'm crazy. Uh, there is no man I fear. Uh, I fear weird things like cameras, uh, believe it or not, cell phones. Uh, those things I fear. But getting in the ring with a guy like Tyson, getting in the ring with a guy like Jose Canseco, let me just tell you about Jose Canseco. People say, how did you lose to a baseball player? Jose Canseco wasn't just a baseball player. He was a 285-pound steroid muscle head at a reach of 91 inches to my 69 inches. He hit me so hard at the end of round one, I felt all my teeth shake. So would I like a rematch with Jose Canseco out there? We're gonna find a way, we just sent him a packet, I put it out there, it's on the internet. I want Canseco in my backyard, Pittsfield, Massachusetts, at historical Wakona Park, Team Punisher. Sounds like you're built up and ready to go for him. Uh, I've never, I, you know, it's funny. I did my first wrestling match. It was a 10-man Royal Rumble, just like these athletes tonight. What a lot of credit I give to these athletes. Throwing their bodies around at, at their age. and uh, it just, it, it's, it's incredible, uh, but it's entertainment. Celebrity boxing sounds like entertainment, but if you stand ringside and witness my power, you will not believe the power that I demonstrate. And I'm a Southpaw, so that throws off a lot of people. Southpaw. South Paul, South Jersey, Rocky Bill Bowl, you know. My training regimen is different too. I train I train a lot like the Rocky movies. I, I live out, out in Pittsfield, so I'm, I'm the people's champ around Pittsfield, you know, and I think that I can bring two, 3,000 people to Pittsfield at the Kona Park, so. You probably could pack the house more than that. Well, but we're, we're hoping to, and again, my money will go to uh, a really good disability. So. That's cool. I want to thank you guys. You guys are the true champs for the interview. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's no problem at all. Here's my card. Uh, when that comes on TV, uh, give me a holler. Okay. Will I get it from Will I get it from Pittsfield? Thank you. Is it a lo will I get it from Pittsfield? No, you should be able to. Yeah. Should yeah. be What's able to. channel? Fifteen. 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 When do you know? Uh, Call me. I will. I will. I will. 
Sorry, what was your you question? Also get no, I just want to. Uh, no, that's good. Okay. You're going to call them when it's Oh, yes, they will. Oh, right, may I please get a shot of that belt? That would be great. Yeah, can, can we please get a shot of the belt? Yes. Thank you. I was trying to oh. get it in earlier. Can she hold it? I don't care. Go ahead. Put it on. Go ahead. Put it on. Get him to move. Go ahead. Don't block it. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. That's a um, uh, um, so how long have you been wrestling? Uh, well, I'm 25 now. I started when I was 17. So what's that? Eight years. Eight years now. So what did you think of your match tonight? Good. It was brutal. Uh, hurt my knee a little bit, but uh, besides that, I won, and uh, the fans seemed to be into it. So job well done, right? Yeah. How did you have to prepare going into a strap match? Just kind of hope for the best and try to impact the least amount of pain as possible. That's kind of how I thought about it. Make sure I don't get hurt. Um, have you done any boxing or anything? Or? I've never done boxing. I just trained professionally in wrestling and uh, doing this since oh, I was 17. The best thing you ever want to think of. <laughs> oh, God. I think of beating and wrestling. I can't imagine what those guys go through to face. So. I can only imagine. Just think the MA is the MA's a lot worse than regular wrestling. Oh, that's brutal. I get my <laughs> butt kicked out here enough, so. <laughs> so, uh, you said that, uh, what was your main inspiration for becoming a wrestler? <clears throat> well, I always loved it. And then when I was 16 or 17, I found a school. I was trained by Buda Bob Evans, who's also in Ring of Honor with me. Mm -hmm. I just picked it up there, and, um, you know, obviously I watched all the greats, and they inspired me, and now I just love every second of it. I can't get enough of it. So, okay. Buda Bob Evans, would you say he's a worldly component to, you know, go against you? Yeah. Bob trained me since I was 17, and I mean, he taught me everything he knows. So, I mean, he's gonna know some of the stuff I'm gonna bring out, but I learned some stuff along the way that he's not sure that I have on my sleeve, you know? So, in a, in a, in a, in a regular match, who do you think would have to be up on the end? You? Oh, you teach or a student? Nah, definitely me. I, I got like 10 years, I'm 10 years younger than him. I'm not so worried about him. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Really was, appreciate it. Yeah, it was a great yeah. match. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Really yeah. That was a really well, good match. Can also, we can also ship a. Uh, yeah, copy to. Oh, awesome. Copy yeah. this to you. Yeah. If you have somebody, you can send yeah. it to her.